The Podcraft Beer Show, episode 31 for Monday, February 15th, 2021. Today we examine the 2021 edition of Pliny the Younger and four other craft beers from Russian River Brewing Company. <laughs> This is the Pod Craft Beer Show, where we talk about craft beer from Southern California and beyond. I'm your host, Chris. This is your other host, Charlie. Yo! We got tech guy, Steve. Hello. So today, gentlemen, we're going to take a look at some uh, some beers from Russian River. Russian River. Mm. So it's I like um, a little Russian River. Normally this time of year, uh, Pliny uh, the Younger releases, I think the first Friday of the uh, February goes for a couple of weeks. This year it was uh, bottles only. They got a little pandemic going on. Yeah. I can understand that. So the uh, uh, real quick, every, everything that we talk about in the show today will be able to find the show notes on the podcraft. In, in my opinion, it's about time they bottled it. You'll be able to find all the notes at thepodcraft.com, right? Yeah, yeah there we go. Yeah. Gosh, I was like, man, that was like pulling teeth. What's that one teeth, thing Chris? called? It was like pulling teeth. Long week at work. Ready to hit it? Did I you am. talk about this one too? I didn't. Uh, I didn't talk about that. What's the first beer up, Charlie? We're going with the uh, Funky Fodor Cherry Beer. I'm excited. Never had this before. So I'd never had that either. Uh, they so the uh, with this uh, with this twelve pack. You got a twelve pack of beer. You got four uh, four youngers. Four of this uh, Funky Fodor. Uh, four or excuse me. Two of these, uh, two Funky Fodor, two STS Pills, two Happy Hops, and two uh, Pliny the Elders, along with the four Ooh. Youngers. So we're going uh, to run through a few of these. Guess what? Reminds me of a little Jester King. Take a whiff two to that. Mm-mm-mm. Cherries. That's got a little, uh, little barnyard funk there, huh? I like it. I like it a lot. It's not as, as as funky as I thought it was going to be, but it's still good. Get a lot of funkiness on it now. It sounds yeah. kind of funky, huh? It smells like Jester King Elite. Mm. It's a drinker. I don't even know what the uh, numbers on that are. So we got uh, 7% alcohol. That's so it's bad. a uh, cherry saison. Uh, you know, comes through a nice... Uh, Gosh, what color is that? It's like a... Almost a like pinkish. a... Uh, a peach, uh, maybe peachy, yeah, or apricotty color, you know, stone fruitish looking. Yeah, it's got a, you know, it it smells a lot funkier than um than it actually drinks. It's it's super light. Um, you know, almost uh, almost like uh, that's different than anything I've ever tasted from them. Super subtle as far as their their cherry uh, cherry goes. I don't know if I could drink a lot of it. But I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a good, uh, I mean, I don't know if this is new or old or what do you, I think it is the first time that they've, uh, it's the first time it's been bottled as, as part of this. Um, it smells really sour. Mm. It does, doesn't it? It smells really sour, like, like really funky, but it's not, it's, it's super, um, it does have really a pretty, mellow. pretty heavy tongue taste on it though. Not in the back of your throat, but right up in the middle of your tongue. Yeah, it's not as not as sour as I uh, as I expected it it's to. It's different, um, but it's good. I like it. I mean, it's like I said, I wouldn't drink a whole lot of it. I mean, maybe a glass. I really would take be you about as a four ouncer as a saison guy. Nah, probably not. Probably not. Um, but hey, you know, if they're trying, I like it. You know, it's a good beer. Something new it's a good is something to try. new. That's to what try I like. and share. But I don't know that I would go out and buy another bottle of it. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't pass over like a uh, one of their IPAs. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Pliny, I'm drinking that uh, Fodor. I uh, yeah, I think it's all right. Yeah, let's uh, let's go. Let's uh, where yeah, where are you we're, rolling to next? The next brand, we're gonna go. Ooh, no, that smells. This is the uh, uh, Russian River STS Pilsner. And we're rocking five point three five percent alcohol. So I'm a big fan of Pilsners. So the SS Pils is their uh, their classic European style Pilsner. Uh, it's a 
straw color it's going to pour. Strong yeast characteristics Smells and a dry delicious. Pilsners are good. I've been drinking quite a few uh, Pilsners and... Uh, Loggers? Loggers recently. What have you been drinking lately? What, I mean, you didn't. Even, we didn't go into that yet. We haven't. You know the. Um, so I've been drinking on drinking my way around town as far as uh, um, some of the uh, saisons, or excuse me, not saisons. Excuse me, uh, pilsners. I this year, you know, we we're falling apart here. Good night. So the. Uh, Surprising that doesn't happen more often. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Today's we'll like cable pause, hell day. <laughs> I did. It's all good. Nobody died. Not yet. <laughs> so the uh um I'm in a fantasy football league that uh the it's uh it's a beer fantasy football league. So oh. the um the, the buy in is uh, is a six pack of beer. It's uh, uh the winner gets gets a four pack from everybody, and then uh, second place gets two beers from 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 everybody. So I took second place this year. Um, my first time in five years being in the money. I was pretty excited, and uh, so the guys asked what I wanted, uh, and I said I said I wanted loggers and pilsners. So they uh, I got a bunch of I uh, got some where the vultures fair and um, some modern times, a couple other. Uh, but yeah, it's just been pilsners. A lot of local stuff. Yeah, I think it was all local. There was one. Uh, there was a um, IPL from uh, um, Brewery West, I think. Um, but outside of that, I think it was all all San Diego stuff. All super super tasty. Running through those uh, pretty quick. Then I also had um, the other beer that I um, that I had that I thought was uh, was pretty awesome was was. Um, Maple Madagascar from Four Hands. It's a brewery in St. Louis. And this bottle I had been sitting on for a few years. I bought this whole Four Hands set. And they, um, man, I, it was tasting so good. It was tasting phenomenal. Uh, I'm not a big fan of uh, maple syrup in beer. Um, but it, uh, this, this one came through really, really well. It was really well done. How about you guys? I stopped by Def on the way home the other day from, Did from you? work. Yeah. What is dinging? What is dinging? Something's dinging. Maybe it's just a... Where's my phone or my watch? Mm. Death Hop Patio. It was a wet hop pale ale. How was it? It was really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Christy and I both hop. loved it, yeah. Did you get a crowler of it? Yeah. That's all they got there. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I suppose yeah. it's either on-site or crowler. Or growler. Where'd you yeah. go? Death. Oh, you did? Cool. Sorry. Good. That's great news. I mean... I'm gonna go down there tomorrow, I think. And uh, that's a quick uh, stop for you on your on the days that you have to leave work, huh? Yeah, it's just just a different direction. I yeah, mean, it's literally three minutes out of the way. Right. It's hard to park though. There's not a lot of parking over there. Yeah, it's really yeah. It's uh, okay. We ready? There's a lot of stuff going on, especially during the. I, I bet you it's a little more difficult during the week because there's a few businesses. Right yeah, there. yeah. You know, yeah, it, was, like, it was towards the end of the day, so it, yeah, there was some street parking, but I had to like turn around and go back, and I'd never seen, I did never been there before, so I wasn't yeah, exactly. Sure. They're right there. Uh, is it Lost Coast Meadery? That's right there in that same thing. Yeah, mm. there's that little meadery as well. Did yeah. you go in there? No, I didn't. Oh, it's like tucked in right behind the pizza place. I think pizza in the brewery, and there's just a hallway that goes in there. Oh, uh-huh. which um, not a big, uh, not a big mead guy. Yeah. Um, but it was uh, Those it was it was pretty good. It was uh, yeah, it was it was a great first experience. I think with mead, I, I just don't ever know what to buy, and I don't want to buy um, a whole bottle, you know. Some of those bottles of meat are really expensive. Mm. It's like buying stouts and not liking stouts. I don't like stouts. How about you, Charlie? What'd you have? I had some, uh, I had a, a powder time from Moxa. I had, uh, gosh, let me see here. I had the Kohl style blonde uh, from Deft and a hazy IPA from uh, Harlan. That was it. No moss, but it was good. They were all good, especially the depth. Depth is really is is really hit me differently. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm a fan of what they got going on down there. They uh, well, it's so just fresh, you know. Yeah, I gave a buddy of mine a can of that one of those twenty five ounce crawlers. 
He's like, when can we go down there? <laughs> I'm like, uh, Saturday, as soon as I can make it. So we're going to hit it up. But uh, are we uh, are we ready to go here with the next? Uh, we're on to it. Pilsner. You already get yours? I, I did. I did. Sweet. So we got the uh, the STS pills here, yep. uh, back, which is back their- Back at it. Back, back at them after our, uh, our little- um, a little spillage. little spill. So the uh, super crisp straw comes in a straw color. It's tasty. It is it's really good. I would drink a lot more of those. I mean, you if if, yeah, if you can do a good pilsner and a good lager, you're you're in style. You're good because people are going to drink that no matter what. I mean, it's just too too easy to drink it. So uh, a, a few years ago, um, I mean, the, one of the first times that we had. Uh, Probably five years ago or five years ago, uh, Charlie and myself um, decided uh, I had some some frequent flyer miles that I needed to burn up. So we were going to just go up and grab lunch um, at and grab some some Pliny. This is probably five or six years ago. So um, we we were going to go up, grab lunch. And then because you, you can you can land right in Santa Rosa, rent a car or just take an Uber over, grab some lunch. And then I was going to head back and, and grab like a case of beer that you could fly home with for you could check it for free um and then we decided we're like well let's do one better let's just fly up there one way and rent a car (laughs) and uh and and drive back so we we had done that but um i mean this beer used to be impossible to get a hold of yeah like all of the russian Mm -hmm. river was was super difficult to get i think we told that story where we went in and bought a case and then came back out changed hats and shirts (laughs) and then went back in and got I think on the third time, the gal says, haven't you been in here before? <laughs> oh, um, no. Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, did, they, we did go to, uh, what's a uh, bear, uh, bear Republic and get a beer there. And then we yep. came back and got another case. Yep. Yeah. And then went down to Lagunitas. We did. Yep. To Lagunitas. And That's then, a great uh, Teresa. Yeah. yeah, no. But, yeah, it was great. Yeah. Like they, of they old the, school beer. Yeah, you know? They were the champs at the time. Yeah, so the um, shortly after that trip, um, when we were on that trip, I we had picked up a bunch of their sours, their um, uh, consecration, supplication. We also stopped on the way back at uh, at Firestone Walker and uh, and picked up a few beers there. Yeah, wow. so it was like this hitting brewery after brewery Libertine down the um, down was the coast. An event. Yeah, it was. Uh, so um, I had went to this. I had went to my old neighbor's house, and we. Uh, um, we went to, uh, we, we were, uh, I don't know if we were watching some UFC fight or something. And they, um, um, you know, I, I had popped a couple of, popped a couple of beers and this guy's like, I don't drink beer. I'm a wine guy. And I'm like, well, Hey, try these. They're, they're aged in wine barrels. You know, they're, maybe you'll like them. <laughs> so he takes a drink and he's like, man, that's amazing. And he's like, uh, who makes this? And I'm like, oh man. So I was kind of telling him the backstory of Russian river. I'm like, Hey, it's this guy, Vinny. That used to, you know, used to work at a at a winery, or you know, started the brewery in Temecula, and and um, and uh, this guy Chris, my old neighbor, is like, Vinny Cirillo. He's like, are you kidding me? Like I I used to work at that guy's dad's winery with him, right? <laughs> like went to high school with him up in Temecula, so it's pretty funny, you know. He um, I yeah. think that's I think that's the guy's last name, but the um. He uh, they had worked together at this winery. Went to this uh, I and some some school together they went to some private uh high school together worked at that winery Vinny went on to open a little brewery called the russian river and this guy um went on to become an accountant mm. but he was he was like man that's pretty impressive like give, give him a holler i'm trying to get this on uh trying to trying to get a little access here get a keg of that get two as a matter of fact yeah it was pretty uh, <laughs> small small world that's an interesting story because we, you know, remember uh, we remember when that was everybody wanted Pliny, everybody wanted Pliny, and it, I mean, it's kind of fallen off now. But the younger is uh, definitely uh, a treat once a year to get some of that. So, but this Pilsner, pretty legit. I'm ready to drink another, if y'all are. So what do you, what do you got there, Charlie? What's are next? we gonna pour Pliny and? Younger and older together works for me. You can have yep. them kind of back to back there. You're not afraid, huh? I'm not. Okay, prepare yourselves. So we're uh, uh, the next two beers that we'll we'll uh, uh, we'll try. 
Pliny the Elder, and then um, uh, we'll we'll try Pliny uh, the Younger right next to it. Steve, have you had uh, Younger? Yes, you gave me some once. Oh, Elder, Elder, right. Elder. No, the Younger. No, I yeah, don't yeah, think okay. I have. Yeah. You're right. We got we got an audience. My buddy Brandon's here hanging out. Hey, Brandon, how are you? You will definitely be able to tell the difference between the two. Maybe not in smell, but as in taste, I would imagine. Yeah. You've had uh, Younger before, Charlie, right? Oh, yeah. I was at uh, Tornado's, and uh, I, you told me they were, they were tapping it, and I went down there and stood in line for all of like three minutes, and they let everybody in. Walked into the back, got a 10-ounce pour, drank it, and disappeared. It was wonderful. Yeah. 10 ounces, that's all. Well, they give you two 10-ounce pours, and I only took one. So it was delicious. It was amazingly good, surprisingly amazingly good. Not a lot of uh, people, uh, well, a lot of people that know beer know it, but if you're not a really beer kind of aficionado or somebody that knows what's happening, this only comes out once a year, and it's usually just in kegs, so... Like I said, it's about time they had to take a pandemic to get it in a bottle. They they did bottles last year as well. Mm. well um, did? Yeah, and they, they sold out super, super quick. I think you actually could get them there. Well, that's convenient. To me, either way, it's a good beer. So if you're if you're taking a look at the the, the elder is a little bit uh a little bit lighter, but they're both um so I was reading about younger today and they, they said that um uh, it's the same they make the beer the same way. It's just the hop. The hop profile changes. They just base the hops based off of what was the premier hops they had from their mm. contract the year before. Okay. So that would be like the little bit of a change. But but as far as the rest of the uh, the recipe, it's all uh, all made the same. Okay, we got. Um, here's the big difference. Oh, man, that fresh Pliny yeah. just can't be it's, beat. Pliny is an eight percent. Younger is 10.5, 10.25, sorry, percent alcohol. So that's a big bump. So it's a double to a triple, right? Yeah. So the uh, Pliny has kind of an interesting backstory with, um, you know, we had, we had mentioned Vinny had a, had a um, well, first he worked at a winery, his dad's winery, and then he, he started a brewery in Temecula called The Blind Pig uh, was the name of this oh, brewery. Yeah. Um, and they... Uh, they had their their blind pig IPA, yeah. uh, and when he was mm-hmm. um, attempting, I guess the as the story goes, making this, um, they somebody had doubled up the the recipe on the just made a calculating error making the blind pig, and ended up with Pliny the Elder. Like, how about that for your mistake? You know the yeah. uh, surprise. You, know, with, you won the golden the, lottery ticket, right? Yeah, the West Coast. You know the the West Coast IPA. Premier, you know, I think yeah. premier, premier, right? West Coast Just idea. searched for years. Like my my ex brother in law continually asks for that beer. Um, you know, he looks for it when he lands in states that have it. Like the uh, still super, and this is this is phenomenal. I mean, super fresh. Like this, oh, this was good. shipped shipped out on Monday. Uh, it should say on the on the bottom of the bottle or the side of the bottle when it was. Um, uh, mm. This is uh, uh, twenty one. It was. Just made so two two it's February second right. of twenty one, and we're on the eleventh, so it's a week old. Boy, fresh. Or the twelfth, maybe it is. Yeah, this one's numbered. Is it? It looked like the number underneath. No, no, this batch number. Uh, this one was uh, two three, so it's a day later. So both these both these bottles about a about a week uh yeah, it might week be out. A batch number on there, but it's not it's not the time of day, is it? No, this is not the time of day, I don't think. <laughs> they don't stamp it that close, pretty sure. I mean, never know. With freshness and all. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's gotta be a the younger is really there. smooth. Like Yeah, the It's tricky too, because it'll sneak up on you. I mean that's a that's a really, really good beer. It certainly doesn't taste boozy. The I'm, um I like the younger more than I like the elder. Yeah. It's pretty smooth, pretty easy to drink. It's got a richer taste to it. The other one is very hoppy and very, you don't get the bitter part of the hops until, you know, you swallowed it, it's gone. It feels like it's receding and then boom. That's when you, with the the younger, or with the elder? With the younger. Oh, younger. 
for me at least. The younger, I can drink all day. Or the elder, I can drink all day. I mean, that's just a smooth IPA. I mean. Double. Yeah, it's, it is super smooth. There's some of you said, like, so, I mean, I think, like, a lot of times, like, fresh Pliny the Elder is phenomenal. Yeah. You know, I think the, the, the problem is, you know, it hasn't been stored properly or it's been, you know, been aged. Or, I mean, I think that's any. Well, and it used to be you couldn't find it because people just scooped it up. Now it's available and, I mean, it's it's usually on the shelf somewhere. Sure. Sitting in somebody's cooler. Uh, Valley Farms had a whole section of it the other day. And, uh, you know, it's just, I mean, you Yeah, just it. before Christmas, I think... Uh the place up there where the Carta Crack um, Seaside had in their Christmas, yeah. you know, advertising. Or yeah. Yeah, I know um, uh, Blind Lady Ale House, you can buy, like, uh, cases of it. Blind Pig of Blind Pig of Pliny. Like, you can order a pizza and a case of Pliny. The, I mean, like, That's pretty good elder. Deal. Yeah. You could also order a case of uh, Fundamental Observation. Like, just mm. order a case of Stout with your pizza. Oh, Wow. That would be a party. So that's a. Uh, it's been a few years since I've had uh, since I've had younger. Um, not disappointed. No. And you know you can, to do? Taste, you can taste how fresh it is. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I think like. I mean, I would say that's probably pretty close to as what they intended it to taste like. I mean, it. Um, I think they arrived uh, the day before yesterday. I think Wednesday is when I got my shipment. Like they shipped it out Tuesday. I got it Wednesday. Uh, so it was still cold when I, uh, when I got it. You know what this means, don't you? What's this mean? After potty. Yeah, what's that going to be? It's going to have to be the other. Oh, Charlie's going to pull out a little happy hops for a little after little potty. Happy hops for from Russian River. So the, the last uh, of, of the... The five bottles, or I guess there there was three IPAs: Happy Hops, Pliny, and then um, Pliny the Elder, Pliny the Younger, Funky Fodor, and uh, STS Pills. And Charlie decided we're going to go uh, we're gonna hit the happy Happy Hops as well. Happy Hops is good. I'm happy to hop hop right on it. Now that's different. That's different than the other two, quite a bit actually. So it says the Happy Hops was originally brewed by the Grace, Grace Brothers Brewery in 1944 in Santa Rosa. Their brewery went out of business in 1960, but they wanted to resurrect Happy and a new fun beer for him uh, to enjoy. Happy Hops is incredibly happy India Pale Ale with immense hop aroma, uh, flavor, and a mild bitterness. It's pretty good. There's a couple other, uh, um, couple other beers. I'll, I'll try to. Uh, a couple other beers like that whole area had a lot of hop like hop stuff going on do you remember that story the, there was a couple of beers i think that they i think there were saisons or there's, there's like a a hop picking machine that's uh that was originally developed in santa rosa i'll try to find the information of it and put it in the links to the the show notes <laughs> but it was yeah kind of interesting they had actually made a beer a couple of beers under sonoma pride i think do you remember that i remember the um, name yeah so they, but it, but it had something to do with like uh, maybe that was the name of the uh, the hop picking. I guess it was it was a big industry there at one point, and then kind of went away with the manufacturing went away. Would hops be in the same uh, growing, you know, climate that uh, wine grapes would be? I I, I, I don't. Wine grapes are supposed to be really dry. I mean, yeah, that whole area, there, it's not a whole lot of hops growing there, right? Whereas, you know, further north, right? Yeah. Like Yakima Valley or Washington and, and that Where whole... Where it rains like, a lot. Right. Yeah. That must have been some special hops if they were growing them there in Sonoma. There, Maybe was, a, there was a neighbor who built one of those big hops towers down the street from... He, just from, down the street from me? Yeah. From you guys? Yeah, Is he yeah. growing hops? He was at one point, but he it hasn't been used for years. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the first two years he tried to do it. He but, tried. Was yeah. he like home brewing and wet hops? Yeah, I don't know. I think he was there. trying to sell. He was, was trying to sell the hops. I don't there think was somebody was over there home brewing. I remember that. I can't remember who it was exactly, but yeah, I remember in the day there was. But it's a big gigantic tower, and I guess they just try to get the hops to dry, to go up these ropes, mm-hmm. right? And then they then they can rate, lower the ropes to pull the hops up. I watched a uh, um, this video about like how hops are harvested. Mm. Super cool how harvest they by hand. 
they well how these guys would would do it because they they and how they they go in and they they um every year they have to set new wires up there and they like so it's two guys in a bucket they're going along and tying off all these wires and these shoots just climb up the up the wire then they come along and cut all of this so they have these because they'll just grow straight up the vine right like um so this, I mean, then they have these 18 foot long strands or whatever. I'll try to find that video. It's pretty interesting video. How the, how they harvested hops, like on a commercial scale, like, um, pretty impressive. Well, Deft has got hops growing right down there in their uh, patio. They were, I think they said they were going to be used in some of it to make some of their beer. I think that's great. Grow your own hops. That's be perfect. Stone used to walking into Stone Brewing in, in Escondido, you walk through like a, a little hop, mm-hmm. um, yeah, kind of cool, right. like yeah, a hop right. garden. Yeah. That's a super cool brewery. Just the layout. And yeah. yeah, yeah, the rock garden mm-hmm. and yeah, super. Escondido or Liberty Station. Escondido. Escondido. Well, Escondido. Yeah, both. I mean, they could do it both, but yeah. I think I only saw it at Escondido. But I don't. Know. With the, yeah, the hops down Pretty there. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. What do you think of that, Charlie? I think it's great. That's uh, probably that's the smoothest one out of three of them of the uh, Pliny. Those are both super rich hop. This one is just not as hoppy, and it uh, doesn't have that bitter end on it. Some people like that bitter end. Us West Coast guys. Mm-hmm. Yep. Party animals. Me? Wow. I'm going to crack me some answer. <laughs> <laughs> For after, after, after. Pop. Yeah, that's certainly um a lot a lot smoother. Mm-hmm. Like, that's like all, yeah, all, all day. Yeah, I'll drink that. Uh, I don't know if you want to drink too many of those Pliny's and, uh, you know, 8%. Yeah, I'm calling that 7. Um, 6.5. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'll do. A little, little easier to yeah. to drink that guy. So it's a, a, it's a three-tier. It's that, then Pliny, then Younger. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, all five of the beers we had today. Where uh, Steve had said not that long ago yeah. we were going to get this <laughs> last last. I, I like, didn't even think about it we, until I went. Oh gosh, we don't have an after party. And with an eye roll, we said that'll never happen. Yeah. <laughs> two weeks later, <laughs> it's less than a week. It was last week. Was it last week? He yeah. knows us too well. So the uh, um, so today we had five five beers from from Russian River. We had the Funky Fodor, the STS Pills, the, uh Yeah, both of yeah, those yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, I think I was I was the pills for sure. I, I it was think really good. It's I think it's in the. A really, really, really good pills. Super clean, super mm-hmm. crisp. Yeah, nice. Uh, um, very nice pills. Um, I was I was really surprised with the 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 funky fodor. Um, the the really funky smelling. Your know, barnyard funk. Um, but it wasn't super overbearing. You know, it was really really kind of. Uh, no, it's, wasn't super. Um, malt, well, like I said, my first smell off it was like, oh wow, this smells like Jester King, and then. Next thing you know, you're pouring it. It tastes great. It's really super mild. I was shocked how mild it was. It was nowhere near as sour as it, I thought it was going to be. So that's all right. I'm good yeah. with that. Yeah. No, I was. I was. I was happy with that. We then had uh, uh, we put Pliny the Elder, Pliny the Younger together. Um, both of those uh, came. They're phenomenal. That that Pliny, I think. Um, both of those bottles, I think we had said were like a week, a little over a week old. Um, both of them, the hops coming through really, really well, and then uh, finish her up here with this this happy hops. Good enough. Yeah, no, that was uh, um, a little more IPAs than I think Charlie uh, normally likes. Yeah, I'm trying to hold off on the IPAs, but the um, everybody else is happy. Yeah, no, I, I can <laughs> certainly say me and Steve I'm are not scared and so the uh, we'll we'll get back next week to uh, Charlie's fruit beers and stouts. His, uh, fruit beers and pastry stouts. <laughs> <laughs> Just back and forth. That's all we're going to do from now yeah. on. <laughs> all right, um, gentlemen, you got anything else on that? No, no, I'm good. Well, so once again, you can find the show notes uh, at at thepodcraft.com. Uh, if anything else, uh, feel free to reach out, uh, send us an email uh, with any suggestions. Uh, thanks for listening. Cheers. Cheers. Hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show 
to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only, and compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Oh, oh.